thank you once again for joining me. Now listen, Aldebaran was close to the moon. NASA was announcing it. All the medias were announcing this um, celestial event, which happens from time to time. And what happened is, um, this is a photo. I wasn't supposed to post them, but I, I am. And I, I was curious as to what they were. We're even going to go see the surface of this celestial object that seems to be behind the moon. I know it sounds a little odd. It was in purplish in color. I'm trying to bring out some... This natural color, by the way, this is Aldebaran on the left. Overhead view of the surface of the moon. Uh, the top that was on the bottom of the picture will have other pictures coming up here. And video footage of this. Guys, this is something incredible. This is beautiful events that are happening around our moon and in our skies. These days that are not being documented or opened to the public. So now the public and uh, amateur astronomers like me are trying to get things out there and share these with the world. And why wouldn't we? Who would I be not to? It's uh, beautiful. I'm finding a beautiful way of sharing these photos. This is high dynamic range, guys. We're looking at lights and spots and photos that you'll see. The same thing as NASA when he takes photos. It's lens flare. So it's not hard to see what's going on and to see uh, to understand the photos that there. You can see the lights you'll see in this video, lights coming to and from the moon. Um, we'll see the surface of the object that's right behind the moon, so I guess it has to be there if I'm, if I'm viewing the surface. Just all this proof out there, guys. All these nice happenings going on that no one's uh, seeing, not everyone is seeing. And hey, they're there. I'm able to get them nice and capture and have a sort of art sense to showing some of this now. Uh, I worked hard to be able to show the work clear. Obviously, you... There's just certain photos you can't clarify, but certain photos are needed to be blurry to show the world of an existence of something out there. And sometimes the world is very deceived and upset at the blurriness. But listen, guys, we're sitting here with everything around us, everything that we want, all this beautiful, high-quality movies. We even sit down and sneer at high-quality movies now, and we notice mistakes. This isn't a movie. This is the real thing, and we should appreciate what we're able to see with um, uh, the apparatus that I have. What we're seeing could be a nebula. Sure, it could be too, because I just post-processed it. It could be, but it's just I don't see a nebula, any nebulae in that area over the moon ever. But, of course, the constellation now where Aldebaran is of Taurus is now a, for some reason closer to the moon. I don't know. We're always shifting, forever shifting in space and time. I know that for a fact. But here, look at it. It does look like a beautiful uh, event, nebulae, whether it be Aldebaran reflecting and causing all this bright light. But look at the lights over the moon on the bottom. Look at what's in the sky. Are they all celestial objects? Are they all crafts? I don't know. But they're beautiful. They're there, and I caught them. Now, there are the beautiful lights. I hope they're appearing. Of course, it's not always easy trying to show stars on the photo, right? We're looking at white specks on, on a, a black page. But over here, you could see the beautiful trail coming downwards here, spiraling upwards into the right side of the photo as if, a bunch of lights or crafts. Imagine a bunch of crafts just arriving to see what's going on or to, to arrive to this object, this beautiful object, celestial sphere that's in the sky, guys. Because the stars are all the ones at the back. And I guarantee you that over the, the moon, I've never seen this beautiful trail of stars like this over the moon. It's absolutely incredible seeing this. And I wanted to share it with you all. So my own editing, all my own photos... It was taken the night that Aldebaran was close to the moon. Here's Aldebaran. And gosh, there's that beautiful object with all the lights to the right over here. A real mystical photo right here. A movie-like photo right here. And it's the real thing. I got brave enough to post this because I saw somebody post a video. Uh, the same, same thing. Just this purple spot over the moon with Aldebaran to the left and the moon underneath. I mean, it's, there's no lie about it. And he's got over 20,000 views um, on that same night, which was the 4th, I believe. 
So yeah, why wouldn't I post this? I'm just posting it for everyone to see what's in the sky. I've gotten sky pictures all the time and I've, I've never seen so many objects now coming attracted to the moon, all these planets, Venus, Mars. Why is all, is everything shifting? Why all these alignments? Why are we seeing all these changes suddenly? So I'm not ruling out that it was uh, or is nebulae, of course, just amazed by seeing nebulae in a photo with the moon, which obviously there is none. Nebulae are out in the constellations and up in the Milky Way. So just an amazing view of it, what was over top of the moon, or like I said, what Aldebaran, either its light is projecting, but I, I don't want to speculate too much on that and say that it's Aldebaran causing this light, because this would be hundreds of light years away from Aldebaran, obviously, if Aldebaran is 150 light years away from the moon. <laughs> Look in consideration to the distance. But still, and the lights that were around the moon, we could see them very well in my photos here and with the enhanced photo that usually in the night sky, of course, obviously there are many stars, but the stars were uh, overlapping the front of the moon. I know for a fact there are no stars in the front of the moon. And I've never seen this before, ever, ever, ever. This photo is gold for me. I mean, I want to show it. It's not much people will think, but this is literally the top of the moon, guys, and this is Aldebaran, and this light is emanating at the back. No matter what it may be, it's just, it's a beautiful light, and it's purple, and it scares me a little bit because the asteroid that I found was actually underneath the moon that was purple, and would this be the same one that's actually just floating there, but in the moon's orbit or closer? I don't know what the distance is, but like I said, that's just my opinion. Just never mind what I'm saying. Just look at the view. It's something in the sky. You can see its shape, and you can see the debris or light that uh, the sun is emanating, or Aldebaran is making emanate around it. And the lights going to and from the moon. Look at the lights all around the moon. There was so much going on on that night. Uh, on the moon and ever since uh, guys I've been stuck my eyes have been stuck on them on the, the moon literally outside just it's amazing high dynamic range edited photo so I can get the entire sphere lit and to see everything that's around it a couple of people are doing like look at the trail of lights look at them coming down to the moon boom 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 this is quite the spectacle these lights are not there usually and you could see all these lights around the moon Like there were crafts that had arrived around the object I was seeing in the sky, the purple light, and all the trail of stars alongside of it. Like we're, like I was witnessing this galactic event of an army coming to save the world from this object coming towards it. I mean, like, what? I know. No, 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 I don't drink, and <laughs> I'm not on drugs. This is the real thing, guys. Whatever that object may be, it's big enough for us to see the surface of it. So, you know what? 
either it's the biggest asteroid I've ever seen in my life or it's the biggest asteroid I've ever seen in my life. The surface of it Night Aldebaran came in that You know, asteroids can also be UFOs or mistaken for UFOs. And on March 3rd, please take a look. A couple of videos back, I posted a video of an unidentified flying object, whether it be celestial object or a craft. This is the object. It's the best that I could do with the photo because obviously it's a brilliantly emanating light. Just wanted to finish off with that. Guys, thanks a lot for the interest. Thanks for listening. And there's lots more on the way as I'll be checking the skies for you all.